Getty, Gav and Williamson seems to favor the option that would ensure the viability of a joint European jet. The Ministry of Defense has already acquired 48 aircrafts from the U.S. at a cost of £91 billion, but instead of honoring the pledge to buy an extra 138 F-35 fighter jets, it is now looking at purchasing Eurofighter aircrafts made by a European consortium. This bone of contention has been linked to the Westland scandal, a struggle during Thatcher's government in 1985-86 over whether a U.S. or a European-led consortium should take over Britain's last remaining helicopter company. The affair resulted in the resignation of the then-Defense Secretary Michael Heseltine and a weakened government. Gavin Williamson, the Defense Secretary, is planning to publish a defense review in July, which could bring into question the affordability of the new F-35 Lightning II Air, the most expensive but technically advanced fighter jet in history. Williamson also set in motion a combat aircraft industrial strategy, which will be published this summer and will decide the future spending on jet fighters and determine whether the UK will opt for a European fighter over a US-developed jet, despite Brexit. The Defence Secretary seems to favour the option that would ensure the viability of a joint European jet fighter business until 2050 at least. However, U.S. Ambassador Woody Johnson pointed out last week some of the components of the amazing American aircraft, in particular the tailplane, are being manufactured in the Britain by Bay Systems, which means that the project provides thousands of jobs for an estimated value of £13 billion to the UK economy. Mr. Johnson previously said he was very impressed by the joint partnership between the UK and the US. Get High The new F-35 Lightning II Air is the most expensive but technically advanced fighter jet in his story. He said, this is an example of a program that is absolutely incredible. The UK is going to make a lot of money. There are going to be a lot of job, despite the comments, the Ministry of Defense is currently negotiating with a joint program office, the U.S. Department in charge of contracts, over the expensive cost of the Lockheed Martin-built aircraft. Mark Francois, conservative MP, former defense minister and a member of the Defense Select Committee also raised concerns over the affordability of the American aircrafts. We are skeptical about the viability of all 138 aircrafts, which is what we are theoretically committed to, unless Lockheed Martin can bring the cost down, the F-35 will suck up other funds for other programs in the defense budget, if the costs continue as they are that will have a serious knock-on effect to the rest of the defense spending program, he added, the mod are looking again at the costs of the F-35. The question remains from Aircraft 49 onwards how many of these are you going to end up buying and the mod is looking at that at the moment, the first four F-35s will be delivered to the UK by the US next month and will be based at RAF Marham in Norfolk. The cheaper European option, Eurofighter Typhoon, which is jointly built by Germany, Italy and Spain, as well as the UK is already in service with the RAF but in order to compete with the more technically advanced and more expensive F-35 will require a midlife upgrade. Tim Ripley, aerospace expert at Jane's Defense Weekly, commented on the row comparing it to the Westland affair. Pagavin Williamson will publish a defense review in July over the affordability of the F-35, he said, it's shaping up to be a grand standoff, a transatlantic dogfight, the defense industrial saga of the summer and a Westland-esque moment for the British aerospace industry. Mr. Ripley also said that the defense secretary was reputedly dead keen on the European plane, which is the reason why he launched the combat aircraft strategy. However, a spokesman for the Ministry of Defense said it is too soon to speculate on the outcome of the review. The spokesman said, the F-35 program remains on track and within budget, providing a game-changing capability for our armed forces. We continue to drive down costs with every purchase and remain committed to purchasing 138 F-35 Lightning aircraft while British industry benefits from an order book of over 3,000 jets.